the Indian Space Research Organization is set to launch its third lunar exploration mission, Chandrayaan-3, which is scheduled to take off at 2.35 p.m. from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh, where my colleague Jay Prakash is joining us from. Jay Prakash, over to you. What really is it that you can tell us as far as the current situation is concerned. Of course, uh, everybody is waiting with a lot of anticipation. And over to you, JP. Uh, now come down to the last few hours uh, for uh, the ISRO's uh, Space Odyssey Chandrayaan 3 uh, at Shiri Kota. Uh, right now, I'm at the media center. There's a huge uh, uh, screen put up here uh, for the benefit of uh, the media persons. Here you can see on the screens, uh, this is the uh, LMV3 and the scientists there at the observation center, which is just about an adjacent building from where I'm reporting right now so the countdown has begun 235 is when uh, the Chandrayaan 3 uh, will uh, be taking off and uh, the first phase which is the earth centric phase will begin the pre-launch phase is over the all the engines uh, the fueling is done uh, the engine will be fired up in just a, a few uh, minutes you could say and from there on the launch and ascent phase uh, will begin the earthbound maneuver phase will begin uh, where uh, the boosters uh, will uh, uh, you know uh, take the rocket uh, uh, into the skies and from there on uh, there are three propulsion systems which will fire uh, the Chandrayaan-3 rocket uh, into the earth orbit and now the first objective is to get it to the earth's orbit and for about 16 days Devika this is going to circle round the earth uh, in elliptic, uh, elliptic manner and uh, from there on uh, the next phase after 16 days begins which is the integrated model phase or the lunar transfer trajectory uh, model they say will take from the Earth's orbit to the lunar orbit. This is a very very critical stage but for now today the first phase uh, will kick off uh, from the Sri Kota Satish Dhawan Space Center from where I am reporting. So all preparations are done, the engines are going to get fired up in just a while and uh, uh, the scientists keeping their fingers crossed and get, getting ready for that important launch. Absolutely. And Prakash, I'm sure of course uh, there's a lot that's been learned from the last time around. If you can hear me still. Prakash, can you hear me? Okay, I think Jay Prakash is having a little bit of trouble there, viewers, but he's showing us some very important visuals. So we'll try to keep him on the screen, even though he can't hear us. But of course, he's inside the center and we do uh, expect some jammers to be, of course, put around uh, the center right now, right before uh, the launch. Uh, so we, we're going to have a little bit of trouble there connecting uh, with our reporter inside the Satish Dhawan Space Center. But uh, Jay Prakash, thank you so much for giving us uh, that uh, quick glimpse. I'm also being joined on that note uh, by our guests we have with us on the broadcast, uh, Wing Commander Sudhakaran. And uh, we also have with us Dr. S.R. Chakravarti and uh, Mr. Ravi Gupta, a former DRDO scientist. Sir, I'll just come back to you in just a moment. But Jay Prakash, back with us on the broadcast. Jay Prakash. What is it that you've picked up as far as the learnings from Chandrayaan-2 are concerned? What really are we expecting will be different this time around? <clears throat> well, uh, in the Chandrayaan-2, the landing was an issue. Uh, in fact, it hard landed, damaging uh, uh, the Vikram, Vikram the lander. Only the orbiter was the successful part of uh, Chandrayaan-2. And uh, this time around, the Chandrayaan, uh, uh, the orbiter, which was successfully launched in the lunar orbit, uh, will be there and uh, they are replacing it with a propulsion model and uh, this means to say that uh, they got more payloads this time there are around uh, you know, six experiments that are uh, being carried out five payloads uh, on uh, this uh, Chandrayaan 3 a very very important experiments being carried out this time and uh, learning from the mistakes in the Chandrayaan 2 uh, the uh, lander legs have been fortified this time uh, the solar panels have been put round uh, the Vikram the lander and uh, uh, the laser studying technology wherein they have a new technology which has been improvised uh, which hits uh, the uh, moon surface and uh, which also gives an idea uh, as to uh, uh, the speed and velocity at which uh, the lander is uh, deorbiting in uh, the on the moon surface this will in fact uh, you know help uh, uh, the uh, the isro uh, to soft land uh, uh, vikram the lander uh, so many lessons learned and 
experiments have also been first time around and uh, the ISRO is quite confident that uh, the, the improvisation in terms of uh, algorithm, software, hardware, uh, all three uh, areas which have been covered by the ISRO will uh, in fact uh, lead to a successful mission of landing the Chandayan 3, mainly the Vikram, the lander. Uh, uh, on moon surface. Uh, we are expecting that August 23rd, around 5.45 is when Vikram the lander will descend on moon. The deorbit uh, will take place on that particular day and then <coughs> the rover, uh, which is Pragyan, uh, will be you know, uh, railed out of uh, the Vikram lander, which will go on exploration. It's a 14-day experiment which uh, the uh, is, is planning this time. Uh, it's one lunar uh, day. Uh, that is the time span of this particular experiment. Absolutely. Jeprakash, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. Uh, let's quickly now take a moment, viewers, uh, to take the help of our experts and analysts uh, to understand, really, uh, some of the major moon missions that have been undertaken by India. And then we'll also come right across to understanding what really are the major differences as far as uh, equipment is concerned between Chandrayaan 2 and 3. But first, we put out this uh, video that has been released by ISRO on some of the missions that have been undertaken by India. Have a look. India, a major spacefaring nation, has conducted a detailed exploration of the moon through its Chandrayaan program. The country has sent two robotic spacecraft to orbit the moon and to take a repeated look at its surface. Chandrayaan-1 demonstrated India's ability to reach the surface of the moon at a place and time of its choice. And with it, India became the fourth country to reach the surface of the moon in November 2008. Besides, Chandrayaan-1's conclusive discovery of water on the moon in 2009 was praised as a path-breaking discovery. The follow-on mission Chandrayaan-2 had an orbiter, a lander called Vikram and a rover named Pragyan. In the past four years, the orbiter has repeatedly observed the lunar surface and even today is working satisfactorily. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.